Hello, I'm Chris, and today we're covering the 20 population Tower Rush build order for Arena. 20 pop means 19 villagers and 1 scout. You see Trush on many other maps, but today we're going to be covering the nuances specific to Arena. Here's the build order on screen. This is a more advanced strategy and build order to be following. This is an excellent strategy to learn, especially if you want to mix things up in a bad matchup. It's common in Arena team games and can really save you in a bad spot. I think of it less as a killing strategy and more of a shake up strategy. What I mean by this is that it's an opening that will completely change up the options you and your enemy can go. For example, if your opponent can kill you with a unique unit or by fast and monk treb, these strategies are a lot less viable after trushing. Monk treb is very time sensitive, and as economies are shifted in feudal and castle ages and they're elongated, the trushing player will have a lot more villagers and farms up going to castle age and be able to pull off something like a light cap defense against monk treb, which will arrive too late. It's very likely that an early push will no longer be effective in a team game because if they continue with it after being delayed, they will be pulling that push with a fully boomed Imperial pocket on the way to wipe it out. In this video, we are covering the Dark Age build order, but in future videos, we'll be covering the Feudal Age build order for managing your economy until Castle Age, managing your attack, and dealing with the many scenarios you may encounter, and obviously the follow ups you could do after the Trush. So let's begin. So as per usual, you will start with building two houses, two villagers on one, one on the other, and queuing up your TC. The first six villagers, including these three, will take sheep under the TC. I suggest you push deer as soon as you can, making sure to only take one animal at a time under the town centre. The next step is to send three to take wood. Make sure it's the best lumber camp spot you can find, depending on how good your micro and attention are, you might be sending a lot of villagers to this one wood line in Feudal Age if you're paying attention to your trush. The next villager you create needs to go and build two houses. After that, send them back to your TC food, or if they're near your berries, he could be one of the upcoming berry villagers. The next four villagers will go to food under the TC. You're probably going to be getting your first boar with the first of these villagers, but that depends entirely on how many deer you have pushed and your own personal timings. Bring that second boar in, in time for the first boar to finish. This next villager will make us 16 pop. I like to remember it's food until 16 pop before the last four villagers. This will go to berries to build a mill alongside sending another villager from under the TC. We want two villagers on berries. If your house builder from the start was near your berries, he may already have built a mill and you'll only need to send one extra villager for the two on berries in total. We will keep two on berries until a long way into feudal age. The next villager will go to wood for four in total. This is key for us to be able to afford double bid axe and the blacksmith right away for fletching at the start of feudal age, as well as afford towers and farms when we need them. The last three villagers will go to stone. It's not absolutely essential that you should send three and you could get by with less, but I prefer having three on stone from the start. Now it's time to get loom and click up to feudal age. We don't really need to do anything at this point, but pre-select five villagers, full health villagers from under your TC and put them on a control group to make it easier to use them when you need to. I usually send villagers forward from my TC when I'm about 25% of the way to feudal age if I'm going to build the first tower quite far forward, and at about 35-40% to if it's a lot closer. Make sure you've shift queue villagers under your TC to take the next sheep in order. You might be paying attention to the trush at the start of feudal age and some other things and you don't want them killing multiple sheep far from your TC. I tend to send the villagers a little bit early, I like to build a house on the way. A house between you and the enemy, especially when you've got time watch later, could be a great indication of the units that they might make after a trush has happened. My advice for trushing on arena is to always build the tower in front of one of the two openable gate tiles. You won't be attacking the gate, but rather a single tile wall that's touching the gate with four villagers and one garrisoned. There's a whole list of reasons for this. It's much harder for them to villager rush the tower if that involves standing in the gate as it will open both tiles and create free entry for you and your allied scouts in a team game. They cannot delete it, like a tile wall, without opening themselves up in a major way, making it more difficult to villager rush. Gates are usually in the middle of the wall, giving you vast coverage of an area in their base that your first tower denies, giving them a much harder job walling off and you more chance of denying resources. For this reason, you may sometimes want to go for further gates if it gives you more area. Following on from the reasons above, it gives you a much safer tower to fall back to garrison in if needed. People just don't wall the tile you'll be attacking. 
They'll tend to wall behind the gate. It's impossible for someone to send some villagers there to panic wall every tile behind their wall in range of the tower. You'll be picking one close to it, but that'll still give you quite a few options. To conclude the build order from the start to building your first tower, when you hit Feudal Age, you have a lot of things to do at once. Start building the tower, research double bid axe, and start building a blacksmith with a wood villager. As soon as the blacksmith is up, get fledging. So that concludes the build order for Arena Tower Rush. Get it perfect and you should have an easy time trusting on Arena, and while I have more guides explaining how to handle the Feudal Age coming up, there's no better way to learn all scenarios than playing it by yourself and seeing what happens. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you like to stay tuned for more. Don't forget that we have a Discord. To get access to the channels, just click on the Set Rules channel and then go to the post and react with the Age of Empires 2 emote. There are other emotes for other games you could react to the post with if you would like, but you do need to actually click this to see any of the channels. The Discord is linked in the description.